Hello and welcome. Welcome to Elizabeth Magical Garden, a magical garden reaching for the stars, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am so blessed and so honored to be here with you guys. And I'm just really excited to talk about this particular topic. This has been a topic that I've been like skating on for some time. And why not in this beautiful new year that we find ourselves in? I'm going to be saying happy new year all through January. Okay, I decided. I decided because I remember, I think, I forget what video it was. I was like, how long do we keep saying happy new year? But I just, I just love saying happy new year because it reminds me of the love and the passion that I feel when it's a new beginning overall. And today's topic is about goddess vibes, goddess energy, goddess love. What does that goddess energy mean to you? Do you believe in goddess energy? Do you believe in a goddess? Do you believe in the divinity of, of a feminine woman? Okay. Um, I, for years, have struggled with my femininity and not because of any, I don't know, any specific thing. I, if I have to think back, it's because I was really in my God energy, which is do, 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 get that, get that, get that paper, get this, get that, get that. And that is coming a lot, in my humble opinion, from a, um, we both had, okay, we both, we all have male and female chromosomes. We do know that. So that energy, male and female, does resonate in all of us, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? But we can, I do believe that we can harness certain energy pathways within ourselves that will kind of like, not kind of, will take us off balance. And for me, um, I always was driven from the male perspective energy in my life. I felt like that's what, that fire energy is what got me through a lot of shit. And I don't really, and honestly, I don't have any regrets, to be honest. I don't regret a motherfucking thing, okay? But... I hit a roadblock because it's like, I'm a fucking woman, bitch. I'm a woman. And how am I respecting my womanhood? Now, I was doing it in the sense of like getting your nails and getting your hair done, putting on something cute or whatever like that. All right. I mean, I'm still a tomboy. Don't get it twisted. Okay. But like I was doing those basics, but I wasn't pouring back into myself. I wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't making love to myself. You feel me? Like I wasn't like, I wasn't put, I wasn't, I wasn't doing it, doing it. Like now when, if I'm going to like, if I'm getting my anything done, whether nails, whatever the situation is done, I make a day out of it. You fucking kidding me? No, she eating good. She feeling good. She looking good. You know, I really allow myself to take all the energy that I'm taking time to feed back and pour back into myself. Whereas, whereas it's something that I'm treating myself to eat, drink, um, bubble bath, um, skincare, you know, anything that is allowing myself to really pour back into myself. I, I, I really uh, make it a point to make it somewhat of a ritual. And what goddess energy taught me, I believe, I, I, I realized in my walk with um, the goddess, for me, my goddess is Isis, okay? Um, that particular energy, her divine love, her perseverance, her story, I'll go into some of the things Um I, for a long time, like I said, been struggling in my femininity in terms of how I view certain things and um, not understanding what really it takes in who I am as a woman. And um, it wasn't until 2016 for me that my walk with this particular type of energy that visit um, from my angels. You know, I believe that the creator God comes to you the way you need to be, the way you need to hear it. I believe that love comes to you in a form that you, that only you will resonate with. I don't believe in organized religion. That's just my humble opinion. Shout out to you if you do. There's nothing wrong with that because I started from there, okay? But... I am um, what you would people would say a pagan, okay? And because um, I don't like to classify myself, but you know what? I'm okay with it if that's what you want to say. I'm many things, okay? 
But I do believe and I do uh, practice in that divine energy. I do believe in a goddess energy. I do believe in a God energy. I don't believe, I believe, I, I don't believe that the love from the creator is coming from only one particular source or another. And nor do I not believe um, in some of the things and the stories and some of the religions, um, religious aspects that has been taught. Um, me personally, I was raised Catholic and um, I still hold dear um, a lot of the teachings. This is what helped mold me. This is what... Um, this is when I, I started to even realize that I was a spiritual person. I was a spiritual being. You know, I don't believe that there's any right or wrong way to worship if that's what you choose. But right um, as we speak right now, uh, we're talking about that divine energy, uh, the goddess energy and what has it done or what can it do for you? You know, this message is not for everybody. I, I'm sure I, I, I'm okay with that. But for the people that it does resonate with you, I feel you, girl. It's confusing. You know, you might feel like I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to that woman that has been on the chase, like, okay, on the outside is looking X, Y, and Z, but I really, I really need, I really struggle in my womanship. I really struggle in this area. Honey, I'm with you. I feel you and for what I believe and what I feel that would work for you is harnessing in and learning about goddess energy and what it means to be a uh, goddess here on this earth. I consider myself to be a goddess. You fucking right I do. Okay. I consider myself to be a queen. Okay, because I am connected to the divine source. I am connected to the divine energy. I am empowered by that energy. I am fruitful by that energy. And yes, Mother Earth Gaia, show me so much love. I have been taught through just going, um, reconnecting with that particular energy, with that Gaia energy, going into nature has healed me. That is my church. I am, I will always hand down say it. And I, and you know, it's so funny. Um, my mom told me the other day that I was like the nature channel, like, oh my God, like I was like obsessed with it since a little girl. And it just goes to show you your walk is your walk. You know, there, if you look back at where you are now, if you look at where you are now and the things that you like or the things that you are drawn to, I should say, and you think back of when you was a child you'll see bits and pieces of those things peeping through. I kid you not. So I share this, I share this and I come humbly before you guys because I want you to understand that wherever you are in your walk, it's never too late. And if you are struggling and I'm speaking to you, woman, I'm speaking to you, queen, okay? If you are struggling in that energy, I believe that doing some research and sitting with yourself even just writing in your journal and asking um, that goddess energy, connecting with your divinity will show up in your life. And it will, you will never look back. You will never look back because it just changes you. And I think, I think, I thank my goddess every single day. There's not a day where I do not pay homage and, and set forth a libations um, on my altar because, um, you know, physically connecting and doing it, you know, it doesn't matter. I believe steps and it doesn't matter personally and what you believe in, but when you start to cultivate a, a, a groove, a form in prayer and, 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 you know, in Christianity, they like to say, you know, go in your prayer closet. Okay. When you start connecting with the divine source in that particular type of way, because guess what, just like I was connecting more with the God, the God energy in me, get it, get it, get it, move, move, move fast, fast, fast. That's that Mars energy, move fast, get it, get it, girl, and all of that, right? That's cool and all of that too. But don't forget, let's not forget that we also have that feminine side, the divinity side that we can benefit and will benefit from if we just take that time to sit with ourselves and, and speak it into existence. And let me tell you something, that goddess energy, God is the queen, okay? And goddess energy is everywhere. The creator, 
okay? Man and woman. It's, it's, there's nothing that you have to like look so far to get. It's right in front of you. So be sure to check it out. Be sure to connect with yourself. Be sure to submit yourself to that goddess energy so you can be aided along the way. And anytime that you fall forth, let me tell you something. She doesn't play. <laughs> Excuse me. Remember, uh, the bounce back is quick. Guys, you know, this year's 2022 has changed so much for me. So, I mean, obviously, I'm sure y'all can see the change too. And I'm loving it, guys. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time your girl uploads a video. Let me know how you feel about what I said, what I shared with you. Do you share in, your, in, in, in my belief systems? And if not, I would like to know why. I'm always here to learn. There is no right or wrong on this particular channel. I just want us to come as a community, not only respecting and loving each other, but it's open to learning from one another, right? So let's start this conversation down below. And check out my website. It's at Elizabeth Magical Garden. You already know, okay? And for those who don't know, this is my website. I create it on my own. This is my hub. This is where everything I create resides on. So be sure to check that out. Hit me up on Instagram, head on over, subscribe to that, and be down. Let's grow up. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is 2022, okay? I'm ready for the up level. Are you? All right. Guys, on that note, I pray that this video finds you in great and lovely spirits, and I definitely speak to you soon.